Hey, good morning, everybody. It is Mike Shea here in Orlando, and I wanted to take a few minutes this morning um, to talk a little bit about a tactic called uh, hashtag piracy, or um, you know how to or actually what a hashtag is. I know some people don't know. So, what's a hashtag? It's this little number doohickey here. Um, so when people say hashtags, like why does that matter? And and which important for you to understand is hashtags are the way that the various social media platforms um, work off of topics. So like right now, um, I want to you know point out two right here because I'm in Florida. There is a national event going on right now where we have a Category Two hurricane hitting the Gulf Shores. Now the Gulf Shores are three to four hours away from me, but um, you know, Transworld is a national brand, and I have the ability to sell in the, in that area. So, what I want to talk about is how you use the trends that are happening, and you can find it in a variety of different platforms. If you go to Facebook, you'll see there's a trend line. If you just watch the news, pay attention to what's the topic du jour of the morning, um, and during sporting events like the Super Bowl or you know your favorite college football team playing or like the NFL draft. You have the ability to put your brand, your name, and your information into um, people's attention. And that's what this is about. This tactic is not about getting uh, immediate sales. This tactic is about putting your brand in front of potential customers to make them look at your um, service uh, as a business broker. Now, you know, you can't really get evangelical about only doing business related posts because that's where all your competitors are going to be. You want to be in people's attention long before. Think about the last time you went to a baseball game and you looked at the billboards and you saw Pepsi Cola, the local car dealer. You saw all these impression billboards on the walls out by the stadium or you drive by the highway. They don't trigger you to conduct a sale immediately. What they do, however, is put their brand in front of you so that when the time comes for a sale to be made, you're top of mind. And as a business broker, individually, we often think of only using our spend or advertising efforts against triggering a sale. Um, but I will tell you that leveraging the internet is a means by which to get in front of people and to drop into uh, their impression points at any time. So I'm going to show you how I do it. Um, so we're going to take you know, Hurricane Sally, for example. Um, so we got Hurricane Sally and Sally as um, issues right now. I want to write a tweet. So we're going to pick up uh, one of our pictures. Da, 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 da. And let's see. Boom. Let's just use failure to maintain confidentiality. So we're going to say. Ah, Number one important factor when and hashtag selling your hashtag business is maintaining confidentiality. Hurricane Sally. Sally. Okay. So, bam. Those two hashtags, and we're going to do a local hashtag too. So we're just going to say UCF, which is a local school, right? So this post is going to pop up in front of anybody who's looking at UCF information or looking at specifically Hurricane Sally or Sally information. Um, you can, of course, tag it. I also want to tell you, you want to add descriptions to things because descriptions uh, allow for photos to show up in certain areas and I always use my tagline Orlando business broker Michael Shea um, what's really important for you guys to know on the description point is that people will search that way both video videos pictures images and you wanna basically put in the description on every photo every video um, and you, if you get really really savvy one day we'll talk about meta descriptions uh, in the back back um, the back end of the uh, the various blogs and platforms but right now Hurricane Sally Sally UCF and when I tweet that that's gonna go out to everybody out there um, who's you know looking at Sally Hurricane Sally 
Now, one of the other things you want to consider is you can drop into trend lines and just post you know, inside of a hot topic like politics. You can drop into a trend line and use the hashtags there because you know there's lots of people talking about it. Um, you know, University of Oklahoma, and my daughter goes there, so I can drop into it if I want to target OU people. So you can target what people like and put your information, content, videos, things that you know direct them to your business inside the platform. So that's hashtag piracy, and I hope it helps.